For the first time in 13 months, South Korean President Moon Jae-in and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe have had an official one-on-one -on -one conversation, 11 minutes in the waiting room right before the ASEAN Plus 3 summit in Bangkok. According to Seoul's presidential office, Moon requested this without any prior consultations, though their issues have been obvious to onlookers for some time, especially since Japan tightened trade with South Korea after the latter's Supreme Court rule last year ordering Japanese firms to compensate victims of colonial-era forced labor. The two agreed to resolve pending matters through dialogue and expressed hope of achieving substantive progress in official consultations between their foreign ministries. Abe agreed to explore every available means. From the Japanese foreign ministry's view, Abe reiterated the Japanese government's basic stance, which we can presume means calling on Seoul to honor past agreements like the 1965 post-colonial rule treaty, normalizing ties, and the 2015 so-called Comfort Women Agreement. That agreement was undone under the Moon administration after complaints by former sexual slavery victims. We can say the optics of the meeting were good, and 11 minutes is long enough to go beyond a very basic stance, though a proper summit would likely be needed to make meaningful progress. It was hoped they might meet again on the sidelines of the Apex Summit in Chile, but that's been cancelled. And was 11 minutes enough to avert our current course? Seoul is set to allow a military intelligence sharing agreement with Japan, Gisomia, to lapse from November 23rd. We're also still in the same essential predicament. Seoul is not going to overturn a Supreme Court decision and is not going to betray elderly former sex slaves. While it's hard to see Abe backing down without some concessions, at least conversations are happening though, including at the highest level, so there's some momentum and mutual willingness on show. And President Moon has used the platform of this ASEAN summit to address the need for stronger economic ties beyond Japan, in the face of what he called the return of a violent wind of protectionism. He said South Korea will have a chance to follow up on related consultations with ASEAN in a special bilateral summit to take place in Busan later this month, and new economic engines could be revving.